morning everyone and welcome back to an early morning fossil hunt on the Yorkshire coast. This morning I've come to Runswick Bay, it's going to be a scorcher of a day, so hopefully we're going to find something good. My dad is already down there and I'm meeting my friend Connor, unfortunately he's gone the wrong way and he's ended up at Robiners Bay, so he's driving his way over now. So we're going to head down and see if there's anything around to the left side first. Looks like there's some sort of paddle boarding or canoeing event on today. There's quite a few people out enjoying the lovely weather on the Yorkshire coast. Tide's still a little bit in towards this side but doesn't really matter. The seas are really flat so you can pretty much just walk straight round if you're wearing Wellington boots. All the rocks are really slippy this time of year due to the sea growth and the algae on them. Well this nodule here looks quite promising and I think that has got a very good chance of having a good one inside so we'll put it to the side for now. Quite a squished dactyliosaurus but certainly an ammonite so worth taking back. There's possibly one in there as well, I think I can see a keel running round. So we have found a few bits so far. Now that one's a shame. It's half of a Phyloceros ammonite, a rarer found ammonite on the Yorkshire coast. Looks like it's split open as it dropped. Fortunately I can't find the other half anywhere, which is a real shame. I've had a good look around. It might have been crushed in preservation. It looks quite squished in the middle anyway. So I'm going to have a go at hammering some of these nodules now. They don't look too good, but you never know how they'll pop. Sometimes they can surprise you. Let's get on to the better ones now. This one looks promising. Can't see a keel outside, but let's give it a go. Tough one. I'm going to keep going. There's definitely one inside it, we know that for sure. Well, we've got a pop. So let's have a look and see if the effort was worth it. Oh, wow! That is a belter pristine example right to the middle and I've also got the negative to go with it so I've also got another quite fresh looking nodule nice rounded shape but there's no keel sticking around the edges so let's just see how it goes oh. and that is a another beauty which I think I'm just going to tape back like that because that does look like a corking example and it would be a shame to ruin such a nice one. We've got a crisp looking keel protruding out of this nice fresh nodule. So walking a little bit further from where I was stood and I've spotted right by my feet another belter looking nodule. It's obviously rolled down the cliffs, maybe even overnight. But look at that for a beauty of a nodule. That might even be a keel of a crushed ammonite running alongside it. But it's hard to tell. It's just one we need to crack open. Really fun. Ah. There we go. 
we've cracked it open but it's obliterated I don't think it was preserved very well at all or maybe we've just cracked it open and ruined it but two out of three isn't too bad it's such a shame about that filo though because that would have been a beautiful one I wonder if there's a middle under that might have a little chisel like that a little bit of crust there you can tell it's fresh from the cliff anyway it was just over there and there's no more which I can spot so maybe it's not preserved or it's still up there somewhere not a bad haul anyway one really scrappy one and then these two beauties one to prep and then this beautiful posnick can't go wrong with that we got a belemite it's missing the very tip though We'll have a quick check up here to see if there's anything which has tumbled down. Highly doubt it though. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please take a look at my website called buyafossil.com. All purchases can be shipped to most countries and really help support the channel. Thank you. The plan now is to have a walk round towards Kettle Ness and see if there's anything around that way. My dad's already gone forward towards the point. He usually takes a little bit longer to walk than me, but I imagine he'll be there by now because I spent a little bit longer there than I usually do. Well, there's an awful lot of seaweed that has been dumped by the sea awaiting a little bit more rougher waves to wash it out not quite as bad as Robiners Bay though towards the left hand side so we've made it round to Kettle Ness looks like my dad and Connor are already at that end bit there I'll see if he wants to go around a little bit further it looks like I found a good tenicostatum nodule here. I'm hoping it's all there. Ah, half of one. But it might have a whole ammonite inside, so I'm going to give that a tap. Let's see how it's gone. Oh, wow. Perfect. <laughs> Might be best to put it on somewhere. Yeah, I'll see that. Well, something's just fallen out of it. So we can see there's nothing there. Right by my foot. There's a lovely one. It's an unusual looking ammonite as well. Probably just a dark, but something looks a little bit different to this one. You can see a perfect Dactyliosaurus sat in the shingle here. I 
Looks like it's been eroding out for quite a while. Turned out nice that one. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Was that the second one? I <laughs> yeah, that was the one that looked, looked crushed. Remember, everyone, if you'd like to see more fossil hunting videos on the Yorkshire coast, please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. Thank you. There's a really nice one Connor's just found and he's kindly donated it to me. I'm not going to hit this one. It looks too perfect. It'll be nice inside with a bit of work. I've just found a very crushed ammonite preserved in shale. Eventually the sea will erode it down, but it's nice to look at for the moment. There's one for people who like lobster fossils. There is one inside here. Looks like these would have been the two front claws which were unfortunately damaged in the split. That's nice to see. So I've just spotted a nice cannonball, lovely rounded one. Let's see if there's anything inside. Empty. So there's a little hill inside here. It looks like it's quite eroded, but there could be a good middle. Ah, <laughs> it's terrible. Oh well. <laughs> so I've just come across this massive nodule here worth a tap. Gosh. Totally empty. There was actually a very small one inside. Not going to be taking it back for that though. Connor's just picked this lovely pyritic Dactyliosaurus out of a rock pool. Looks nice and complete in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just gone quiet. Is it stuck? Not a nodule. No. So we're just making his way back now towards the rock pools at Runswick Bay. It's been quite a good day really considering the, the weather and how busy the beaches are and the flat seas. We've had quite a few nodules so we'll see if we can find anything on the way back. That's everything for today's video. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it and I'll see you all on the next one. So I'm going to manoeuvre closer to it. And you can tell me if you would have spotted it. I know it's been in the sea for quite a while, but it's a packed bone block. And you can see all of these little black bits are pieces of eroded ichthyosaur bone wearing out. There's a few bones running along, along the edge there, a few ribs on the back. And it's essentially a layer of ichthyosaur bones. So here the bone pieces now, I've finished it, I did the best I could. It was a nice scattered ichthyosaur block with lots of little bones all around it. It was quite worn on the beach but I am pleased with how it turned out. There's a few vertebrae washed up. I tried to keep as much bone as possible. A lot of it was already really quite worn but I am pleased myself with how it turned out. And it was a surprise to find it sat there in the rock pool. I used a bit of acid and a lot of pen work to reveal what I could. 
Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next hunt.